next day before we open up? Yeah, um, I thought we played um, well uh, for, for decent stretches of the game. Um, I thought, um, you know, you come and play a good team like, like Boston University at their rink, you, you need a bounce or two, and I thought we had some opportunities, didn't get those bounces, but um, I thought we continued to play hard. Uh, they capitalized on their chances, and that was the difference in the game. Yeah, I mean, you know, we had 10 shots on net. We had, um, I thought we, we had some, we have obviously had some zone time. Um, not good enough, though, you know, not good enough. Um, but we started to kind of isolate up top because they were pressuring us, and I thought we had some decent shots from the point with, with net front presence, and those are the kind of bounces you're looking to, to get, you know. We had a couple tips that, that uh, with guys closing, you know, if that if that puck hits the right way, you got a guy closing without, without anybody on him. Um, so plenty, plenty of room for improvement, but it was, you know, it was okay. Mark, what do you what do you see as the biggest issues during this losing streak, and the biggest things that you need to change going forward? Um, well, that's our ninth game on the road in our last ten. Going home would help. Um, no, I, to be honest, I, I don't think that I thought we, we played really well at the beginning of the season. Um, and then I thought we got rewarded with some poor performances. And it caught up to us. And when that happened, it just happened to coincide with uh, Sini going down for a month, Dealey going down for a month. And then we had seven games on the road, four of which were two at Cornell and two at, at uh, Notre Dame. Not necessarily a recipe. Um, and we just, we got decimated. I mean, we, we were rattled. Um, so we've tried to put the pieces back together here, and I thought uh, last week's effort on Saturday against Northeastern gave ourselves a chance to win a, a road game, and I thought our effort tonight and, and our execution tonight was decent as well. So um, I keep telling our guys, you know, we made a lot of withdrawals early in the year, uh, and we need to make some more deposits, and I thought uh, our effort tonight was a deposit, you, you, you know. Everybody wants to be instantly gratified. That's not how it works. You gotta, you gotta put some deposits in the bank before you can get a withdrawal. So I thought tonight's effort was a, a step in the right direction. Uh, what's your read on, on how, maybe how frustrated some of your guys are? Go through a streak like this, I imagine some guys get pretty frustrated. Um, I don't, I mean, our freshmen are freshmen, so they don't know any better, right? They don't know, they don't know anything. <laughs> um, you know, I, I think, um, to be honest, I think maybe some of our upperclassmen are, you know, uh, and, and you know, you, I look at guys like uh, Jared Colquist and, and Mark Baiega, and there's a reason why we elevated them to assistant captain status, and it's because they just keep coming and just keep playing, and, um, and that's what you need to do, you know. It, it, it is psychological if you allow it to be, you know, if you allow it to be. Right now, it's it's about putting together good performance. It's about playing well, and we played we've played a lot better in our last two games than we did uh, in, in probably four out of those seven road games prior. Uh, 